Welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. I'm in my front northern window right now, which has a lot of orchids. Not all of them have I introduced you to yet. Uh, this is actually an orchid haul video um, for some orchids that I got um, from Louisiana Orchids about a week and a half ago now. And since that time, yesterday I repotted. This is a um, Stewartiana, Phalan Phalaenopsis Stewartiana, and I had ordered one before from Louisiana Orchids, and unfortunately, and that's this one here, um, unfortunately the newest leaf was damaged in shipment and it died and just fell off, so not sure if the crown is going to make it or not to grow any more leaves, I want to make sure I have a Stuart Tiana in my collection and this one put out this wonky bloom it's still wonky but it smells so beautiful such a beautiful fragrance I recommend this one for anyone's collection and it's still wonky if you want to see that video it's in my blooms video and uh, it's still going that bloom um, so it put out a nice bloom for me and um, I've had this one maybe three months, I wanna say. Uh, so I decided to order again from uh, LA Orchids, um, another Stuart Tiana, because I was also ordering some other stuff, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So this one has a lot bigger leaves. Uh, it's growing a new leaf, so I feel confident in the future of this one. I repotted them both together Maybe the buddy system will encourage this guy to keep trying. Uh, maybe I'll get a happy surprise someday. It came with a beautiful flower spike. Uh, actually came with two flower spikes. And one I had to cut off, all the buds blasted. And then this one um, actually did put out a flower. And it looks a lot more normal. Typical Stuart Tiana. Just gorgeous. A lot of the buds, there were at least three to four other buds on this flower spike also blasted, but it's still trying. It's got this other um, flower bud it's trying to form right here. So I might get some more flowers. We'll see. Um, maybe not because I did just do the repot. Um, I repotted this with all of my Brookside ones yesterday, which is a different video if you want to check that one out. But what I did I um, I have a few jewel orchids and I have done videos on jewel orchid on the jewel orchids I have and I was saying in my past videos how yeah if I do well with these I'm gonna get some more well I guess my confidence somehow boosted with all the blooms that they gave me and my malaxis which is right here and still maturing putting out a new growth. I thought I'd killed it, but I didn't. So with that confidence, I went and bought a whole tray of jewel orchids from Louisiana orchids. So we've got some really precious little things here. We've got a Ludicia discolored dark form. Zoom in there. Isn't that beautiful? 
I have just the normal Ludicia Discolor. Um, so that is a great addition. Um, this was a bulk pack that I bought. I didn't know what exactly I was going to get. Uh, this is the Ludokyla Sea Turtle. It's got that new leaf it's putting out. I got to do some little cleanups. There's some mineral deposits it looks like, but doing good. Again, I got these about a week and a half, two weeks ago. I got my very first Makotis Patola here. It's got a new leaf coming up. Oh, so gorgeous. This next one here, facing away from us, Docinochylus Turtleback. So I got the Ludochylus Sea Turtle. And then this is, okay, interesting. I just realized there's two turtle names. Docinochylus Turtleback. So I'll take a peek at this. Some of them are gonna look kind of similar, but they have little variations. So new leaf, very healthy, happy leaves. Next is this little one, whoops, here. Tag's trying to run away. Dosigia domino, hmm. Really not sure of that pronunciation. Let's focus in a little bit more. More lightly designed. I really like the leaf margins. They're lighter colored. Uh, this one here, let's turn it around so you can see it a little better. Dasigia or Dasigia Dominel Judy. Okay, so these two, this one and this one, are related. This is Judy. And isn't she gorgeous? New leaves, very happy, very healthy. Uh, this one here is no ID, came with uh, no tag. I love it, it's got a new leaf. And then the last two we have here. This one is the Anectodes Charlotte's Web, one of my favorite movies as a kid. I cried every time, but love to see that Wilbur survives. Beautiful design there. And then the last one, last but not least, Desinochylus Dreamcatcher. Well, it's certainly been catching my dreams. Haha. -ha. Let's turn this one around and get a better look. They're trying to face the window. So all of them are doing great. The uh, last couple weeks I've had them. Uh, they're sitting in my north facing window. I've got my little terrarium next to them. There's my Malaxis. Uh, I'll do a video when the leaves totally unfurl. I've got them with my bubble filums. Phalaenopsis. Um, I have a lot of miniature orchids here. I'll have to do a refresher on my front facing window. If you watched my OSC Pleiades video, um, there's them. Uh, I've got a few new growths on a few of them, so we're making progress there. Slow but sure. And um, so I'll just do a quick peek here. Lots of Phalaenopsis, miniatures, Paphiopetalums. Um, have a couple Tulumnia. Uh, this one's throwing out buds. Beautiful spike, and it put out a second spike right there. It surprised me. Um, got my little Apanthes in a new home. I'll have to do an updated video when it blooms next. I put it in a bigger home because the flower spikes were up against its old home, which is right here. Um, so I put in another little orchid in there that's struggling. And yeah, some of these you might recognize if you've been watching my video. A little Philippinensis here, I haven't featured yet. Um, I've done my Paphiopetalum videos. Um, oh, here's my little Parisii, a species orchid. Um, been growing up real nice, also from Louisiana orchids. Um, got some other seedlings, so I'll have to do some more features. I have a few more 
Lepanthes, uh, etc. But this I wanted to show you basically my haul from Louisiana Orchids, which is two weeks old. They're settling in nicely. Uh, tell you a bit more about my, my Stewartiana story and why I ended up with two of them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for spending time with me, and I hope you all have a, a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.